No. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here. Welcome to episode 23 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the next component that we need for our pla fusion reactor, the plasma injector, the part of the machine that actually puts the plasma that you've made into the uh, ring of toroid magnets that you get power out. So, um, it's going to be a bit of a longer episode. We're going to try and keep it moving because the plasma injector has a lot that we need to talk about. There's a ton of blocks in it, as you can see. It's perhaps, I think it's one of the more comp... It has more blocks in it, I think, than any other multi-block that I've seen. Um, I do believe. Just because they're, each block is very specific in its uh, use and placement. So, let's get started. Um, first, in, this is the order that... There's no particular order in how we're talking about these. But you're going to need every single one of these blocks. Um, the first is the plasma injector base. And you're going to need nine of these base blocks. And they are crafted with three ferromagnetic plates on the bottom. Let's just turn off the yeah. uh, Three ferromagnetic plates in the bottom, three hysteresis plates in the middle, and three thermal insulation core at the top. Okay, and you're going to need nine of those. Next is the lower corner. These all start with plasma injectors, so I'm just going to say the, the actual bit. Lower corner box, which are one thermal insulation core in the top center, one hysteresis plate dead center, and then the rest of them are ferromagnetic plates. Okay, that's get you the plasma injector lower corners. 18 of those. The side panels are crafted with a hysteresis plate in the center, a thermal insulation core in each corner, and ferromagnetic plates uh, in each middle bit. You're going to need 32 of the side panels. The injector tops are crafted with three thermal insulation core on the bottom, three hysteresis plate in the middle, and three ferromagnetic plates on top. It's, it's the direct mirror of the base. You're going to need nine of them. The upper corner is crafted with thermal insulation core at the bottom, hysteresis plates in the center, and then the rest are ferromagnetic plates. Again, it's, a, it's an up-down inverse of the um, lower corner. You're going to need 18 of them. The uh, injector induction coils are crafted with three gold wiring in the middle, one thermal insulation core each top and bottom, and ferromagnetic plates in each of the four corners. And you're only going to need three of these. The column pieces are crafted with a thermal insulation core at top and bottom, a hysteresis plate in the center, and ferromagnetic plates down the left and right. And you're going to need eight of them. The hysteresis core, now these are totally separate from the other hysteresis things uh, to do with the solenoid. This is plasma injector hysteresis core, which is crafted with ferromagnetic plate in the middle, hysteresis plates in the corners, and thermal insulation core in each of the, each of the cardinal directions in the center. And that gets you hysteresis core for the plasma injector. You're going to need 11 of them. And then you're only going to need one of these, the fusion plasma injector, the actual machine block. You're going to need four ferromagnetic plates in each of the middle sides, nothing in the middle, and magnetic containment pipe in the corners. That gets you the fusion plasma injector. You're also going to need six magnetic containment pipes in, in, uh, as part of the multi-block. So that's a lot of blocks um, that you have to craft just to make one of these. And if you want a, a full-sized, a fully efficient fusion reactor, you need to build four of them. Um, so yeah, we're talking a big material investment. Every single part of this is a big material investment. Um, but especially these injectors. So I've gone ahead and I've broken a hole in my solenoid again so I can place the uh, uh, the um, blueprint highlighter back where it goes. Just so you can see the uh, the blue bits uh, in each of the center of the sides are where the plasma injectors go. And, and you only actually need one of these um, to get it to work. Actually, I'm not sure um, if you need to build all four. You probably need to or if you only need to have, but you, but you can get away with only having one activated. Uh, I'll ask right now. You may have to build all four of them. Uh, these are, in which case, it's a lot of resources. So, uh, you build it in this 3x9 uh, area, and as you can see, it sort of slopes uh, a bit here. So, it's a multi level, uh, multi block. And now we're going to build it. I've got it here. I'm going to link in the description to a diagram, a helpful diagram that I used to, uh, to build this thing. Um, layer one. Uh, which is the, the bottom layer here, it is very, very simple. You're going to need um, lower corner blocks and bases. Bases go down the center. Nine of them. 
and then the lower corners on each side. So it makes sense. The lower corners, they go on the bottom. Now if you look, when you place this normally uh, in the world, it's only a, uh, a black blob. But when you place it next to the base, it has a different texture on it, uh, on the side. So this helps you to know that you've placed it properly. That, it, that they connect together. See? They form a cohesive texture on one side. All right. Layer two is where it gets a little more complicated. Um, you're going to need uh, two of these column pieces. Well, you're going to need four of these column pieces for this row. So go ahead and place a plasma injector column piece in each of the corners. Okay. Um, at the front, which is the side near the solenoid, you're going to then place a block of injector induction coil. Oops, there's one right at the top. You'll notice that as soon as I place that, the, um, the column blocks have now connected uh, the texture, so they now form a, a unified texture there to help you know you placed it right. Um, then, if I can find it here, you need side panel right here. And then hysteresis core in the center of this bit, and then more side panel on this side. All right, then you need to leave these two blocks empty and place the actual plasma injector. And I don't know if you need to be facing a particular direction to place this. Oops. Just place it there. Again, I'm not sure. It, it looks like it has a different texture on each side. Now, this thing can be a, a little a little finicky to get actually uh, actually set. But the, uh, the actual uh, plasma injector goes right there. Uh, you, can, you, can line, you can tell that you've lined it up because it's basically right in line with the uh, center of the toroids that are next to it. Okay? And then leave those two blocks empty. Okay? Then you need to grab some side panel, and place it there, and place it there. Now you, you place these side panels, you drag them all the way back to where your columns were. And then in the center, this is where you place your magnetic containment pipe, all right? And I recommend not stopping here. Um, Rick has said sometimes it helps to, or the blocks sometimes require you to go ahead and, and pull it out there. Because that's when, when I was having trouble getting the, uh, the, the, the preheaters built, Rick has said extend the magnetic pipe a bit and it'll work. So um, pull your pipe out and make sure it sticks out a little bit. That's layer two. It's nine block. It's the full nine blocks long. Now we go up to layer three. Again, we have our column pieces, only two of them this time, right here, right above the other column pieces. And we need another one of these induction coils. Then we need our side pieces, side panels. One there, one there, and in between those, hysteresis core. Now you're gonna drag your hysteresis core back. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Six history score back from the induction coil, okay? That leaves space for you to put a injector top on the last two blocks. Okay? Six, uh, the induction in the center of this is the induction coil, six blocks of hysteresis core, and then two top pieces. And now we take our side panels, be careful not to fill those gaps that we left earlier, and we want the side panels to end where the hysteresis core ends, because we're going to use upper corners over there, okay? That's what it looks like so far. Don't, remember not, don't block up these holes, and that's what it looks like there. All right, now we're going up to layer four. That was only layer three. Layer four, yeah, more columns. That, that wasn't columns, that was corners. Uh, more column pieces, and another induction coil. All right, and then four side pieces on each side. Four, one, two, three, four. Notice how the corner of that sort of lines up a bit with this uh, slanty line there. That's where the side panels stop. And we're gonna put hysteresis core four of them in there again. And now we're going to, once again, we're going to take our upper corner and we want two of it, these are the ends, and then injector tops 
on that. So there's, we're leaving off two blocks. So this upper level is on this fourth layer is where it goes down to only being five blocks long. Okay. And now layer five, which is simply uh, upper corner, injector top, upper corner. And we're going to stretch it back to the full five. Two, three. It's seven, it's not five. Check the top. Actually, wait, I did that wrong. It is fine. Because this slopes down again. Okay. Now, we need the multi block to actually finish, which can be a little finicky. There we go. So just pop one of these, pop a block off and pop it back on in the front and it'll probably finish. You can tell when it finishes because of all the gold lines that uh, appear on it. So the first three layers are the full nine blocks long. The fourth layer is uh, seven blocks long and the top layer is uh, five blocks long. Now when you have it built, just uh, knock off one of these induction coils and pop it back on. That seems to work for me. And it will, uh, it will build. So that's how you build a plasma injector. Now you just need to build three more of them. <laughs> and then uh, make sure that you route this magnetic containment pipe uh, so that it, it connects to your supply of uh, fusion plasma. And for this particular place, I'm going to uh, pop it down to the floor. Um, right? So for every single one of these, you can have... Uh, Rekha says that you, you can take and you can have each of these having its own um, preheater, but uh, not strictly necessary. You can connect it all together. But anyway, we'll get to that later. Um, that's how you build the uh, the plasma injector. I know it's very uh, it's quite complicated, so definitely check out the diagram that I'll link in the description, or uh, go through and, and pause the video so you can you can build it. Uh, but it, you know, it, it's a bit of a complicated multi-block, but it does it does make sense um, with where the, the the edges go and the side pieces and the corners. But anyway, um, that's it. That's how you build the plasma injector. A lot of different blocks. Um, definitely look at the diagram but uh, you can totally do it. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Um, stay tuned for the next episode where we will go into uh, the uh, how you actually get um, the, the power, uh, the blocks that you need to actually get power out of this thing. Uh, we're getting close, uh, closer anyway, to where we can actually fire it up. I have to sort out the power off screen because um, this thing does require, you know, a, a bit of a, a large amount of power investment to get it started. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned for future episodes. I'm Sutton Leach, and I'm signing out.